I YouTube. I haven't brushed my hair this morning. Really should because we have a delivery coming in like an hour and I'm gonna answer the door like this. So we oh, sounds so weird like saying this like out loud to someone well it's a camera but someone other than just me and him. We wanna have a baby. So oh my god, how I never thought like, I never, ever thought that I would say that, like, out loud. Um, just bloody fab, isn't it? So, I'm not going to post this, obviously, until we get pregnant. I'm going to brush my hair so I look like a trump. But, yes, so we are going to try for a baby, which is really, really nice. I love that. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. We have been trying. Last month was our first proper month that we actually thought, like, when, basically, like, when I ovulated and we did the deed. Um, but alas, I did not get pregnant. So, yes, um, this month again, going to try again, second time. So, hopefully, we do get pregnant. And baby dust to us. I am trying now to do everything uh, possible to help our case. But yes, so last month... I will tell you what we did. So, I used ovulation tests last month to find out when I was ovulating. And I will not lie. So, like, normally I can feel myself. Like, I get mi mitral smirch or whatever it's called, which is horrendous pain when you ovulate. Horrendous. Can be anyway. Um, and I normally get that. But I didn't get that last month, but I can remember. I think I had, like, a few, like, twangs of pain. <clears throat> However, not to the extent I normally get. Whether that's because I've started taking other things as well. That's another thing I've started doing. I'm taking uh, prenatal vitamins. Basically, vitamins that you need to start taking before you plan to have a baby. Um, I started taking Pregnacare. And I lasted two, three weeks and I had to stop them. I think it was two to three weeks. My cycle is, not only is my cycle messed up, I've gone from like, I'm roughly 28 days. I'm now between 31 and 33 days. So that's fudged me right up. I also was really suffering with a head, so I was getting migraines. It would start off as a headache, and I always try and power through a headache. And then it would hurt more and more, and I'd get through the day, and it would be hurting, and it would be bad. And I thought I generally finish work quite early because I start early, so finish work and I'd end up having to go to bed literally because the the pain and the headache and the migraine was so bad anyway so it kept happening and it only turned out to be from the pregnant care didn't it so not only did I make my cycle longer I suffered badly so now I'm on these let me put my camera down again so I'm on these now. Um, I felt fine so far. I did feel really sick with the pregnant care, like on and off. The only thing I'd say has changed since I've been taking any types of vitamins, and I am now a week into taking these. I've had no headaches, <clears throat> which has been great. It may change my cycle, I don't know. I don't know if it says anything on there, but some people have said that it still changed their cycle. So I'm taking that. 
I also bought a pack of new clear blue ovulation tests and I've got a pregnancy test. I took two pregnancy tests last month. I took one before my period was due, even though I didn't feel I didn't feel pregnant, but my boobs were killing. But I didn't think I was pregnant. And then of course my period was late because it was 33 bloody days. And I took one the day before my period. No, my period was late and I took it and it was negative and then my period came the next day and yeah i feel like it the body can be quite cruel quite cruel god i know i wonder when i'm gonna post this will i ever post this who knows um but i'm gonna go because i've been talking for 10 minutes nearly um hopefully i'll have another update for you and i will see you soon bye so I am on day seven of this. Seven days. I have not peaked. And every day I just keep expecting this. I want this to say peak. Well, it will be a solid smiley, which means peak. And then after that, I will be so many days past ovulation. But right now, I'm on day. I don't even know. I need to look at my cycle now. Hold on. I'm on cycle day 15, and maybe I'm being impatient. And I think I did test earlier this time. But because my cycle was extra long for me last month. It was 33 days or 34. That's long for me. I'm just getting really impatient. I've only got one of these left and they're 20 pound to go. So I need to buy another pack today, really, for it to come tomorrow. Or do I not bother? I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna ovulate this month. I went for seven days and did not hit peak. Um, I bought a new pack of clear blue tests, but it's a different pack this time and it only finds your two most fertile days, which, oh, obviously I can't do that. Um, the last one detected two hormones, whereas the new one that I bought only detects one. So I tried that this morning without thinking and it didn't work. So don't even know where I've updated to. Oh, what was that? I'm gonna put the camera up so I can actually talk. Okay, that's not too loud. Um, yeah, so I'm currently in my two week wait. This is my second month of checking like ovulation and stuff. I can test from Sunday, if I want to. I don't really want to. I don't wanna waste my tests and I don't have like any cheap ones. I've got three clear blue ones left and I just feel like it will be a waste on using them. Unless I really felt like I was, which I don't feel like I am at all. I think the last, time I did like a little update as well was a sort of like I had to like been testing as high on my ovulation tests and I think I got to like eight days like eight days and then I ran out of the tests and I had to buy a, pa a new pack and I found like a bundle on Amazon and you got a pack of two digital tests and then a pack of 10 pink ovulation tests um, by Clear Blue. I only buy like all the Clear Blue stuff. But yeah, so I tested with the pink one and it tests for different hormones. So it didn't come up with anything 
Although now I'm seeing that there's other, there's another way that it works. I don't know. It's all learning, isn't it? And then we went to my dad's last Saturday. So that's a week ago tomorrow. It's currently the 12th of November. So yeah, last Saturday we went to my dad's for fireworks and I was stood in the kitchen and my stomach started hurting. And I said to Peter, I was like, I'm ovulating. I know I am. Like people always say that, you don't know when you're ovulating. I know when I'm ovulating. So that's a bit better. So yeah, I went home, I said, remind me, I'm gonna do an ovulation test on my pink sticks when I get home. So I did and it came out as that was my day I was ovulating, but we'd already done the deed that morning anyway. So I don't know if that counts. So who knows, we might be out again this month. I'm not really sure. Hi, I'm back again and I'm still not pregnant. Well, not that I know of. Um, I am feeling horrendous. Um, I have updates since my last video I did, um, but this, well, I'm not gonna post this video till we're actually pregnant. So you're gonna know already by the time this goes up, but me and Pete got engaged. I know I look horrendous, like I am really poorly. Um, Oh, so poorly. So yeah, we got engaged, so exciting. I'm gonna be Mrs. S. My face feels like really like <laughs> rubbery and plasticky, like pulley today. I can take a pregnancy test on Wednesday, th this coming Wednesday. So we're on Saturday now. I can take a test for Wednesday. I promised myself I wasn't going to, but here's a few symptoms I have had. The important thing to remember is because I'm tracking everything and we're trying, like we're trying hard, every single thing I notice, I notice everything. Every twinge, I know I've had a twinge. Every side I think I've ovulated on, I know it. So this month, I'm pretty sure I ovulated on my right side. And then on, on what day was it? Wednesday, I think last week, Wednesday, I was in the living room with Pete and Jack and um, suddenly, yeah, so my back started hurting it. It's my lower right hand side. God. And it was like a uh, pulsating sort of cramp. And I've never, ever had that. And I know that my sister, when she got pregnant with her nephew, with her son, sorry, my nephew, her son, that she had really bad back cramps now these weren't bad like these were fine i didn't need to take any painkillers or anything like that and um, then i did have them in the evening for a, a little while and then the next day the cramp moved from so it was here and it moved to here around this side um and I had that, and I had like a couple of tiny, tiny cramps in the front of my belly. Um, oh God, I just can't talk with this nose like this, it's horrendous. So yeah, that's that. Um, obviously there's like other like things that I don't really think that you could say on YouTube, but that's it. So we shall wait till Wednesday. I'm in my two week wait. I ovulated well over a week ago now. So yeah, should be able to test by Wednesday. I'm on two different apps at the moment, so I'm not due on Aunt Flo until next Saturday, so a week today, but we shall see. Fuck's sake, oh my God, I feel so fuck so ill. And, oh my God, I'm so done with this. I'm literally so done. This is probably not going to stay up. I just feel like my period's coming. I feel so ill. I'm working at the moment. Look at the state of me. My eyes puffy. My nose is red. It's hurting. It's all dry. I did two pregnancy tests yesterday and they were really cheap ones. Um, but they were both uh, negative, obviously. 
and then today like i thought i felt a bit better so i went to work like oh, literally my hair is disgusting and greasy i need to go and wash it even though i fucking washed it already and um oh she's gonna raise of that i was meant so today's monday it's the 13th of december and i meant i wanted to test on wednesday because that was when my um app tracker recommended me to test and I think I'm due on my period on Saturday but this morning I got cramps well I got I'm getting like slight cramps now and I know like they say you're not out until um your period comes but I just feel like my period's gonna come like I just like I just fucking I just texted my sister and I was on this uh, I'm on this um group on Facebook um and you can do like an anonymous post on there. And it's just really good because you could talk to other women that are going through the same thing. <sighs> I just feel really shit because I just really, really wanted to just like give Pete like the best present I could possibly ever give him. Like I don't think I'll be able to ever top it if I was able to get pregnant and uh, show it. Not show it, but like get a positive test in time for Christmas. But... I just got like a big feeling that I'm not going to and I just have such a bad headache. I'm not really sure whether to log off of work and just take the rest of the day sick or not. I just can't, I just literally can't frigging cope right now. I just, oh, I just got so upset like and I was just like, literally I was about to pick up my phone and I just burst into tears, like pick up my phone to do a little update video that is like i'm fine now but yeah i just got so upset then because like you know you just feel like it's never gonna happen um like i really do like yesterday we decided on our wedding venue and um we're gonna book it and i want to have a baby before we get married so it's going to be near enough like two years until we get married i don't want to be pregnant at my wedding i want to um have a baby before that because i'll be 33 by the time we um or about to be 33 by the time we get married and i'm 31 now so yeah i just want to i really want to be pregnant before my wedding to give us the biggest chance best chance because i really would like to have two if i can i don't know god my head just hurts so much i just can't cope with this anymore like oh I'll calm down a bit now but I'm just hoping that my period doesn't come and maybe I can test by Wednesday but I also just don't want to waste my test because I've bought so many tests I've literally got boxes of tests in my um bedside table but the thing is these tests are expensive and some of them cost like 10 15 pounds sometimes you can get them in like a multi-pack so i've got like first response clear blue but you don't want to use those all the time um and i want to use them because they're the best ones i personally think um but those ones i got yesterday i bought them off ebay and they were like uh, from a shop and they were like two stick tests but they just look really shit um so yeah we'll see my head is pounding and it's not helping at all like i probably could do with just getting into bed or getting in the duvet and going downstairs and chilling on the sofa i just i'm taking paracetamol already um i've unblocked my nose with this spray that we've got which is absolutely amazing but yeah it's just not helping and um i just feel absolutely rubbish i don't think i've cried like that since about two months ago <laughs> I'm also laughing at myself now because I just, I just text my sister again. I was like, sorry, I've just had an absolute crying meltdown. Like, I need to like have a word with myself before I send, like, shoot off texts and stuff. Um, thing is, like, Pete's busy at work, so I can't keep like shooting texts with him. And like, obviously, I know like if I'm upset, then it's gonna take time out of his day to call me and make sure I'm okay. <laughs> oh you know what i'm crying so much let's hope i am pregnant but you know i doubt it very much i really do doubt it i mean i just want to feel better if i'm honest and get back on track i feel nice again i just feel dirty i feel disgusting vile 
Oh, I'll wash my hair, like I said already, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, 10 days past ovulation today. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Crying again. Yay. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I? I look so red. <laughs> nice. I've got toes around my mouth. <laughs> Honestly, I feel silly filming and crying and stuff but do you know what i think it's a good thing because let me just get rid of this toast because i can oh, oh, i can like look back and i can see like like the journey and stuff like but what scares me the most is oh i'm 12 D dpo today 12 days past ovulation and i can feel my period come in and yeah I've just told like one of my best friends um, and then um, because it's been really hard because I'm going to have one of Jack's chocolates. It's just been really hard because it's just not something that you really tell people, is it? I think, yeah, like it's just not a thing that you do. Like you don't like say, oh, yeah, we're trying for a baby. Um, because the thing is, once you do that, people then start asking you like, are you pregnant yet? Or like, oh, come on, when are you going to get pregnant? It just seems like it's so easy for some women to just get pregnant and like for us it's just not happened um pete already has a little boy from his previous relationship and um i just i always get upset because i'm just like i can't give well, it's not like i can't it's just just that we haven't given him a sibling yet um and i just get upset because I just feel like, how come I can't get pregnant, like, straight away? Like, loads of women, like, do. Oh, it's like a lot of stuff is, like, quite personal, isn't it? But I feel a lot better. And I've told one of my best friends, like, so, like, two of my best friends know. And um, now that we're getting married, we've actually pulled the wedding for... Is it forward or back? Pulled it back. We were going to get married in the October... 2023 but we've decided to get married on the may 2023 so now i'm trying to figure out really i need to get pregnant because i don't want to be pregnant or about to give birth like at our wedding so if i don't get pregnant by such and such then i need to stop trying because I don't want to be pregnant at my wedding and what not. You know what I mean? And it upsets me that I could possibly even be at that point where if we're not pregnant by such and such date, then we need to stop trying because of the wedding. And it's just really shit. And I just know that the time that we stop trying probably will be the time that we actually do get pregnant. But God, I'm just so upset. I just see things everywhere. Like there's constant adverts on my phone and I can't turn it off because... I'm in my, um, like, trying to conceive groups and all that stuff. Like, there's just so much that I can't control it. I can't do anything about it. I can't stop the internet from making me feel sad. I can feel my period come in. I can feel my um, cramps right now. And it's just, like, I just feel so angry. I just sort of feel like, just come already. Just stop just sending me the cramps, just send the period and get it over and done with so that I can get on to next month and we can try again. Luckily, like, we were poorly after the fertile window, so we did the deed enough that we should have been able to. Obviously, it wasn't enough. And, like, yesterday, I know I filmed it already, but, like, yesterday I was just staring at that first response test for so long, like... I was just staring at that. I was shining a torch in it, all sorts of stuff. I was I was just convinced like, oh, please, can this be positive? Am I too early? Like I've had people say like, no, you're too early. Um, You need to test like in a few days time. And I'm like, well, no, because I can feel my period coming. So what's the point? Like I'm normally like a 28 day gal. And I think that my 28 days is coming back now. I'm having some m and Yeehaw! I really wanted to be pregnant for Christmas. My dad's birthday is on Christmas Day, so 
even if I was really early, I wanted to surprise him um, and have him keep that secret, like that special secret. I just wanted a Christmas Christmas present. That's all I wanted for Christmas as a baby. I don't even give a crap about anything else. I've asked for stuff, but I really don't care. That's all I want for Christmas, but it's just not happened, so yeah.